Okay, I'm Melissa Beck again. Um, I, I read my um, Times Express a little bit late um, this week, and I, I see the description for the stormwater management program and fee. And um, it says, I, I was just wondering who prepared this document? What document? Staff. Okay, Tim Little. Oh, that one. Okay, so um, part of it says, what is stormwater and why is it a problem in Monroeville? So I'm going to do something I've never really done here before because I feel like I've been coming here to speak with all of you for many, many months and years, and there's some disconnect. And so I just want to mention uh, little Greta, who's 15 years old, who spoke before the United Nations um, at the recent COP summit that they had there, and she looked at the United Nations people that were in your positions um, and said, you know what, I don't think what we've been doing is working. We're not asking for your help. We're not asking for your help anymore because it's not working. And the reason that I'm mentioning this is, Mr. Little, I need to say these things publicly. Um, Stormwater is, is not a problem. I believe that we can reduce what we need to and comply with this ordinance by putting, by, by banning herbicides, pesticides, and fungicides. What am I talking about? Because there's more sprayed on lawns than any other crop in the country. And there's certainly a lot sprayed in Monrovia. What, am I, what does this have to do with stormwater management? Because if you have biodiversity in your lawn, it absorbs more water. That's one reason stormwater is not a problem. Another reason it's not a problem is because Spaceship Earth now is moving into permeable pavement, is moving into green rooftops. What I'm trying to get at is, Mr. Little, if you're going to be writing in the Times Express a big two-page spread, which I assume my tax dollars are paying for, I would respectfully ask you to include alternatives that residents of Monroeville can comply with, businesses that have to pay $6,000. Um, I want, I'm really, really curious because the gentleman um, back here who has to pay the $6,000 year after year is asking for the budget. And my understanding is, coming here time after time, you've got a budget for the administrative expenses. You've got a budget for the operational expenses. But what are the specifics? Are you going to encourage the residents of the municipality of Monroeville to, to learn what the word permaculture means and grow food on their yards to share with neighbors? Are you going to talk to them about the things I just mentioned and put it in here instead of calling stormwater as a problem? You know, that's where I am. I don't think that, that um, you know, I, I thought for many years that I could come up here and ask people to exceed, to go beyond. And, and I, just, I just don't understand. I don't understand why natural processes like stormwater is called a problem. I don't know where you're going to have to reach to put people on these, in, these, in these positions to understand biodiversity, you hormone the, disruption. You ever see the neighborhoods underwater? You don't think that's a problem? It's absolutely a problem. It's but we have the solution. We have the solutions, but they're not being shared with residents who don't understand. No. Well, well you're not giving step. people enough credit. It's up to them if that's what they want to learn how to do. If, if they want to put a green roof on, I mean. Linda, Linda. This is the <coughs> Times Express. I know what it is. The Times Express is and saying. And you say Mother Earth and Chip is moving in this direction. Here. By the time we get there, do you know how much uh, asphalt is out there right now? What do you want to do with that? Rip it all up and put so it So you're doing remediation, but at the same time. We have to. But at the same time, the same you need to educate the public. Well, the, there's a library. Maybe that's not your job. There's websites. No, no, no. There's that's not your no, job. No. That's part of the permit. We have to agree. There's education the being done. But we got to do step by step. 
Okay. There right. is education being. No, you're right. But first We're thing first. I haven't students seen students at the school so that I you start at a lower level. Okay, I haven't seen any education yet. Well, we, about just kind of, be... we just started. 2019 just started. Yes. Just give it a second. It's, it really will start to make sense. It's going to happen. Forward. So maybe the fee can be decreased as the years go by when you we're never know. That's that, that is there's possible. no guarantee. It's so that possible. could be giving people hope. I okay. doubt it, but it's possible. I because hope. every year that goes on, some other flooding problem is going to arise. I mean, but, 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 but but on on paper and legally, yes, council would have the option of changing that rate, changing the ordinance in general, abolishing the the ordinance. There's correct. It's not. It's not. There's always an out. Set in stone. For but me. I think as the years go on, the federal government's going to keep laying Making responsibilities on harder. us. And we'll see what the federal government's going to be. Doing. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, that's when, when they go back to work, right? Yeah. Yes. They go back to work, right? But understand Thank that we had a five-year permit. We're already one year into it, so we only have four years to complete what we were asked to do in five. So we are really working hard. Yeah, to meet I, every requirement. Education. I'm just aware that there, and I can't give you specific examples, <clears throat> but there are other municipalities that are not charging fees. They, that are educating their yeah. communities. I thought no, no. we did a great um, job educating. To, unless they have the money tucked away somewhere to do what we're doing. And keep in mind how big Monroe is. Maybe there'll be a whole sea change, and, and you never know. These things will come out. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.